Hey, this is Cheryl Girl with V101.9, the station that plays the best variety of hits in old school. I am so excited. Sitting here beside me, British, British, British sensation, Daly is in the house. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm fine. Now, see, you're British. I'm Southern. So, okay. it's, how are you doing, honey? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> I love it. Now, this is your first U.S. tour, right? Uh, it's actually, it's my first full Full cool. length, but okay. I, did, I did a, US, a smaller US tour at the end of last year just to kind of touch base and you know, mm -hmm. kind of um, get things warmed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the the main event. So so far, how has it been? It's been amazing. We um we started off a couple of weeks ago at South by Southwest in uh -huh. Austin, just kind of did the festival. Ah, that's thing. a big way to start. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's all the way in. Yeah. <laughs> in the deep end, but um that so that was great. You know, we kind of got to play some shows mm -hmm. and to some audiences that were slightly different to what I would normally play. And then, you know, then we went and did the first show in Atlanta, kicked off the tour from there. And we just, yeah, it's been a great show after great show, really. Well, now, your first album is out, Days and Nights. Tell me a little bit about, a little bit about that, please. Days and Nights, yes. Um, well, it's a project I've been working on for the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a while in the making, just kind of getting it right and making sure it had everything on it that I wanted. But um, it's my debut album, so I um, really wanted it to be, you know, uh, the next chapter. You know, right. and, and show the next, the full picture of me as an artist, you know, and as a singer and a songwriter. Um, a lot of people know me from the previous EP that I released, which is um, the Alone Together EP, right. which had the single Alone Together with Marsha Ambrosius. Marsha Ambrosius, Marsha, yes. you know how we feel about yeah, that. Yeah, we love, we love Marsha. Um, <laughs> well, don't get it twisted, we love you too, because the song <laughs> is amazing. And I, I know you're talking about your album, but I, I have to ask you, before you talk any more about the album, your voice, I just really have never heard anything like that so as a musician i'm like is he a soprano is he a tenor a contralto what you do is just amazing such a range so now how do you technically refer to your voice what are you doing besides creating magic <laughs> and it i mean really truly love it thank you well uh i mean i think for me i've always i've i've always gone with the thing of never trying to decide whether or what i am you know in terms mm -hmm. of like range or whatever i just Really, it's just about feeling, and I go as far as I can go, uh -huh. um, and you know, and it's really just about, you know, how I can express the emotion through melody and lyrics, you know. So I try not to put a cap on it to say, you know, I'm this or I'm a soprano, mm -hmm. or I'm a whatever. So you know, I think that's that's key because if you, I think if you label yourself, then you limit yourself in some ways. I think you're being very modest too, uh, because <laughs> you, what you do, it really is just <clears throat> off the charts. And with your new album, Days and Nights. Uh, you've got some heavy hitters on there. My understanding, yeah. you work with Pharrell and with Questlove. Tell me about working with Pharrell first. I have to ask you, pardon the pun, but did it make you happy to work with Pharrell? <laughs> you knew that was coming, right? Of course, of course. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I mean, he is really, I mean, obviously I respect a lot of musicians. I have a lot of, you know, people who I've been influenced by, but he's probably someone who, you know, I really grew up through my teens and everything with his music around me, you know, and... In, in that must make him feel really old to hear you. Well, you know, I'm not that old, but you know. So it's, no, I mean, really, come on, I think he just turned 40, right? <laughs> really? I think really? so, he just yeah, turned no, 40, so you're like, must maybe like 12. <laughs> not that I'm asking your age, but uh, go ahead. Well, I'm I probably would have been, I probably would have <laughs> been. But, um, but, you know, so for me, it was to kind of actually have him involved, and then mm -hmm. in my first album was, you know, it was great, and the way it happened was really cool. You know, we'd um, I'd been in the states do, write, writing the album, and I bumped into him a couple of times at festivals and a couple of like awards, mm -hmm. and we were just like, hey, you know, we've got to make this happen because we keep bumping into each other. So, um, l literally, he's like, right, I've got two days next week. Let's just do it in LA. I was wow. in LA. He's like, let's just do it. You know, let's not let's uh, let's not make it longer than it needs to be. Let's just get in and do it. So I was like, great. Um, and we got in. I was a little nervous because you mm -hmm. know meeting your your idols or people who you really respect can be risky. A scary. You never know. <laughs> yeah, you never know. And if it went terribly, I would have just been <laughs> kind of yeah. But um, it was amazing. You know, he's such a humble guy. Um, really about the music. You know, and really about getting into my head and wanting to be a part of the project that I was creating rather than just you know here's a here's a piece of music or here's a you know. So it's so, a real collaboration. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Very cool. And um, now, which song is it on Days and Nights? It's the current single, which is called "Look Up." Look up. Yeah. Okay. And um, and yeah, you know, it just turned out so well. So uh, I was really pleased um, to have him involved. And uh, yeah, I also did some stuff with Questlove and the Roots, mm -hmm. which didn't end up making the album. Oh. Um, but it was a, it was 
uh, it's a song that I have there, and I think I'm going to try and get it used somewhere because I love it. It was just a label thing that like we couldn't have so many songs on the album, so right. it didn't make it. Um, but it's a song called Rainy Day, and it's, it's great. So I'm hoping that we'll see the light of day soon. Uh, we hope so too. Now, we know that you've worked with Marsha Ambrose's. Um, she's a UK artist, but what about American artists? Who would you like to work with? Oh man, so many. Um, you know, I've got all my kind of favorites and the people who I grew up listening to, like, uh, you know, I'm a big Shaka Khan fan. And um, is it true that you cover Shaka Khan in your live show? Sometimes? Maybe, maybe not. You have, to, <laughs> you, have, you have to come down and see the show. I have, okay, keep it real. I gotta see the white boy cover Shaka Khan. I do, <laughs> I'm just saying. You yeah. know, if you have to be able to not just sing, but yeah. uh, you know, in the South we say sang, sang, sang. You got to sing, yeah, like yeah, come yeah. with it. Okay. To do Shaka Khan. Yeah, I mean, I don't take it lightly. I don't all take right. It lightly. <laughs> but um, I mean, Shaka is, you know, she's one of my. I think she's one of the best vocalists of all time. You know, I and do too. her voice is is pure joy for me. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know, I, I mean, I would love to do something with her. Um, Prince is, you know, one of my favorite. He's probably my favorite of all time. You know, yeah. he's um, someone who I respect so much musically. That would be um, crazy. Yeah, I mean, even because I'd like to see who who could hit the highest. Note. Now, I think it would be him. They have a a, a sing off <laughs> between you and Prince. I think <laughs> I think it'd be Prince. <laughs> okay, I'd be I'd be quite happy to let him take it. You know? um, but you know, he's incredible. Um, and you know, I mean, apart, I mean, there are the, obviously my top, you know, um, mm-hmm. on my wish list, but. Uh, I've also, you know, I've been really fortunate. I've done a lot of collaborations over the last few years. Like, say, Marsha, worked with Pharrell. I did some stuff with the Gorillas quite early in my career and a few different things. So mm. it's been really nice for the album to just kind of focus on me. <laughs> well, just, I imagine you know, so. Actually get your, what, what you're about as an artist out there. Yeah. So tell me more about the album. We've covered, like, two of the songs, but when people, why should everybody run out and download Days and Nights by Daily, right? And why should we do it? Um, I think because, you know, it's uh, it's it's the next step in you know what what people know me for with the alone together's and the mm-hmm. really soulful stuff, um, which is you know what I've kind of built my foundation on, and it's really the next step and it's the thing that I think is a little bit more exciting where I'm kind of taking that keeping the soul at the mm-hmm. core of everything you know that's for the emotion that's the way I write and then I'm just kind of trying to take it a little bit further and and kind of take it into the future a little bit you know not kind of rest on uh, what people expect a soul right. a soul album to be. Because you know a lot of times if you are a white artist singing anything that sounds soulful they want to put it in a box and call it Blue Eyed Soul. Yeah. So like you said yeah. no labels right? Yeah I mean and I don't even know what Blue Eyed Soul <laughs> sounds like. like. I think it just has a look you know. Yeah no, you're, I think you're exactly right it's yeah. just a look it's, yeah. it's not about the sound it is a look. Yeah so for me you know I've really worked on kind of getting tweaking the sound of the album and, and uh, you know, there are some songs on there like the title track Days and Nights, um, which is, I feel it's very unique to me, mm-hmm. you know, it's, um, it has a combination of, you know, real songs with uh, interesting production and just, just kind of, uh, I feel like it's just almost the next step for me, you know. Well, I know that um, with your live tour, you've worked with some people here. Let me run down this uh, list here. I know Kelly Rowland. Yes. Maxwell, Miguel, yeah, yeah. and Marsha Ambrosi. So, mm-hmm. what has that been like? Okay, who was the most fun to work with? Uh, in terms of touring or writing? In touring. Or, touring. touring. Um, well, I have to say, it was um, I, I supported Miguel on tour in mm-hmm. the UK. And um, that was great because it was about a year ago. And, um, you know, he, I respect him a lot. He's, I love what he's doing with his music and the way he's taking R&B and soul, the direction he's taking it in. And it was really good because he's obviously a few steps ahead of me. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was really good to kind of see where he's at in his career and how he's dealing with it. And just, you know, um, it was inspiring, you know, to be to be around him at that time. And, and he's been really supportive of my music. And we had some fun on tour. So mm-hmm. That um, sounds like stories that can't be told, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, you know, I had to, I had to show, show him around the UK, you know. All right. <laughs> That's my, that was my duty. But um, And then, you know, obviously Marsha, um, she joined me on the, a couple of the dates I did last year. Um, that was the... Even though we the song came out maybe maybe nearly two years ago. Yeah, together, I think it was twenty twelve. Yeah, came so, out. you know, so it's been a while, but we never been in the same place at the same time to perform it live. And I hate to tell you this, you are literally eleven days ahead of her in Charlotte. I know. Eleven days. She's going to be here April fifth, and that yeah. just I mean, it's going to be amazing to see you tonight, but and amazing to see her on the fifth, but. To, how do you? How are we gonna get the two of y'all together in one place? We're still working on it. I'm, we're still trying to cross-reference her tour dates and mine. So hopefully we'll get you know at least one or two. So the, um, the duet that you guys did is on your new album. Yeah, yeah, we, okay. had, we had to put it on because it's you know it's uh, it's still one of my favorite songs I've written. You know, mm-hmm. and, and believe it or not, as as 
as successful as it's kind of been for me, I still know there are millions of people who haven't heard it. So, mm -hmm. you know, you can never, you could just because I think it's been out for a while, it doesn't mean yeah. you know. Well, it's, I mean, it's been very, very popular, especially with V101.9 listeners. I know that it made the most requested song of the day, like, at least three weeks in a row. And uh, I know so also on our website, mm -hmm. same thing, most requested song over and over and over wow. again. That's great. So we love you here in the Carolinas. <laughs> Appreciate that. So I always believe in asking people about um, their energy and putting those words out there, asking what artists you want to work with. So let me ask you, if you could just make a wish right now and say, say that you want to work, you want to do a movie, you want to write a book, you want to work with this musician or this producer, who would that be? Because if you put the energy out there, we're going to... Put hours behind it. Okay. We said Prince. We said Prince. We said Shaka. Uh -huh. Um. Do you know what? I'm, I actually I kind of want to. Um. I have a project I'm working on at the moment that I really want to sort of dip my hands into something with a, like a slightly hip hop feel uh -oh. to it. So. Uh -oh, daily got, does hip hop. Yeah, you know. We, really. We, we keep it moving. We keep it moving. Okay. So. Now you're gonna sing the hook. Or you're gonna well, rap a little bit. Well, I have some ideas and I have a couple of song ideas that I feel mm -hmm. like need, you know. Um, a rap, maybe a rap presence, and mm -hmm. I, I'm like, you know, Kendrick is is you know my number one in mm -hmm. in that department at the moment. I would love to do something with him. Cool. Um, so maybe we should put that hey, out there. Put it out there. You never know. Hey, Kendrick, call <laughs> daily. Tell him Churl Girl sent you, right? <laughs> but tonight, uh, the your a lot of your friends daily have only heard a lot of your fans and friends have only heard your album mm -hmm. and seen videos. But tonight we get to, get to actually see you on stage. So what can people expect when they see you hit the stage this evening and for the rest of your days and nights tour? Well, the live show, um, we've got it, I think we just about got it right now. We done, you know, we took the first few shows to work it out and uh -huh. it was feeling really good. We've got, obviously, I want to give people the songs they know. Right. I want to give them the new songs and really bring them that next level of, of what I'm trying to do as an artist. And, um, you know, we like to throw in some little surprises here and there, little songs that people might know or things okay. that they won't expect, you know. And, um, there's actually potentially tonight we may have a special guest, but oh. I can't say who because it's not confirmed. It's not confirmed. Is anybody who lives close by? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I, I think I know they're in town. They're in town. They're in town. Also. Okay. So you never. Well, know what to happen. find out, make sure you go to the. Make it's at the Visual Light. It's at the That's Visual it. Light tonight. You mm -hmm. can go online and get tickets. Uh, we want to wish you the best with your new album and Thank the you. best with your American tour. Thank you very Any much. last words for your fans here in the Carolinas? Yeah, I just want to say a big thank you. You know, we, we had the first show last night in Raleigh, and we got Charlotte tonight, and it's been an amazing welcome. So thank you to everyone who came down. And, um, yeah, if you want to keep in touch, I'm on Twitter mm -hmm. at Daily Music, D-A-L-E-Y Music, or Facebook Daily Official. And thank you for the love. And thank you. We appreciate you. Thanks a lot. You guys keep it locked in to V101.9.